Welcome to the warm-up. We're at Lima Senior High School. Today's show brought to you by the Reineke family dealerships as the Spartans, the rejuvenated Spartans, ready for year two under Mike Fell. And that is where we start with Coach Fell as coming off that 5-5 five and five campaign, a strong showing in the track. And while you certainly lose some, some centerpieces from last year's team, there's a whole lot of talent coming back. Yeah, you know, we're real excited. We've got um, 26 seniors right now. We've got seven guys on offense back and seven guys on defense back. And they've had a full year of weightlifting and doing things they're supposed to do. So we're excited where we're at right now. Certainly, Ruben Flowers coming off of a strong season. He's getting some interest from Division I colleges, was down at Friday Night Lights and put up a good showing down there. With a receiver like that coming back, what does that do for your offense? Uh, you know, Ruben's, Ruben's a great receiver, but we got a bunch of them. Um, Marquise Graham, you know, he's got as good a hands as we've got on our team, Elias Wright and DeMonte Lyles. All four of those guys are back from last year. And uh, they've all caught the ball well in the past, and they've worked at it over the winter, you know, worked at it in the summer. You know, we're expecting them to be better this year. And in the backfield, Janiel Lyles, over 1,500 yards rushing last season, he's back. Yeah, Janiel Lyles is a young man that is uh, very hard to stop. He, uh, he runs low to the ground. He's got good moves that way. He's a tough, hard, physical runner, and uh, we love having him back. Certainly you'll miss David Lawrence on the offensive line, but a lot of the starters back on the O-line. Yeah, we got three guys back on the offensive line. Uh, Malik Townsend is our, our one young man that is going to go both ways for us. You know, Kyrie Smith-Williams and uh, Darius Kalsey, both those young men started for us last year. So three guys that saw a ton of action last year for us on the offensive line are back. You mentioned Malik. That is news, the fact that you're not going to have a lot of guys going to both offenses and defensively. You're going to go two platoon this year. Well, I, we really think it's going to help us in, in, in a number of ways. You know, we've got to get better on defense, and uh, now we've got 11 guys. Basically, they're going to practice defense all day. We're going two platoon system. We've got 21 guys for 22 spots. So we're hoping, you know, that gets us stronger. But the big thing is we get more practice time, just like right now in two days. You know, we practice three, three and a half hours. You're practicing offense the whole time. You know, you're practicing defense the whole time. Now it gets a little tedious, you know, it gets in there kind of going looking for the breaks and when can I go sit and watch defense, but that's not the way it goes. Right now they're working hard and, you know, we're getting a lot accomplished. The other key offensive position you have to replace is that quarterback. Yeah, you know, Justice Graham did an excellent job for us last year as a first-year player. This year Darius Gordon is the guy that we've got in there. He's going to be a junior. Great athlete, great athlete. He can take a couple steps, dunk a basketball. You know, that doesn't really help you on the football field. But what he does, he has a real nice arm and he moves well. So, you know, it's a learning experience for him right now. But, you know, he's, he's getting it down. He's doing well. Talk about, uh, you know, he can dunk a basketball. you got a lot of great athletes. We saw that in the track program this last season. A great track. A lot of the football players were running track. I'm sure that was something you were glad to see, that those kids running track and having success. Well, you know, the, the guys that went down to the state meet, um, you've got that relay team of Rico Stafford, who's one of our wide outs. He's got a, he's got a broken hand right now, a couple f fingers there, and he's going to be out a little bit. But, um, you know, B.J. Mays and Jaden Walker were on that team and, and Junebug. You know, all four of those guys, they're on our football team. You know, Corey Jackson was a young man that was down to the regionals the year before in the hurdles. And, you know, Ruben was there in the high jump. So we have some, we have some outstanding athletes. we got to get them out in space, and we got to get them, get them the ball. Defensively, you lose a couple of key players from last year, but similar to the offense, you've got some guys ready to step up. Right. You know, we're really going to miss Bo. You know, Bo Quist did a great job for us last year. He was the leader of our defense. So, you know, we've got seven starters back, but, you know, it's good and bad. You know, we weren't great defensively last year, but we've changed the philosophy a little bit. We're, we're doing a little different. We're going to be a 3-5. We've got more linebackers slash defensive backs than we have big big down linemen. And uh, Coach Crea is really working with them. They're excited. You know, they, they know that we got to improve. They're flying to the football. And, you know, I think it's going to pay off. Bo and Justice, you had one last chance to coach both of them at the Ohio-Michigan Border Classic this past June, a game, of course, you saw here on WOSN. What did that experience, what did that exposure mean for you and the program? Well, you know, it, it was fun. I, I've done it before with the Big 33 and doing that first inaugural Ohio-Michigan game. What was really cool was having Bo and Justice get a chance to be a part of it. You know, we'd... We had some guys come and go in that way, and so they were able to get in there and play. Um, great experience to see some of the big-time guys, especially on the Michigan side. You know, <laughs> they, they filled their roster out with all the guys that were supposed to be there. So it was fun doing that, but, you know, it's much more fun coaching my team. And they've recently announced that game will be back next year. We played at Wayne State on June the 13th. Talk about the track. Let's see. 
a very tough league. We know what it's going to be in year in and year out. You guys made strides in the track last year. What are you expecting out of the, the Three Rivers Conference? Well, you know, we have our league meeting tonight, and we'll vote to see um, who's going to end up where. You know, last year we were last. We were voted last. <laughs> and uh, one coach gave me, like, the seventh place vote, and I went up and shook his hand. I go, hey, thanks. You know, and he goes, ah, you'll do this or that, you know. This year I hope we're, they vote us a little higher. You know, I, I would think we'll be in the middle of the pack. You know, I'd be surprised if we weren't third or fourth with the coaches' vote. But, you know, top of our league starts with Toledo Central Catholic. Um, they are outstanding. They, uh, you know, I watched their JV team and their freshman team last year, and they've got a ton of athletes. And then you go to uh, Toledo Whitmer's the next team. They've been in the state playoffs, you know, three, four years in a row. We're right there with Division One state champs. We had runner-ups two years ago. And, you know, they put it on us pretty bad there at the end of the year. So it's one of those things. Those two teams had outstanding JV also. And, uh, and then you go, you know, Fremont Ross will be better. They got a new coach. Finley, Finley's going to be back up there. Toledo St. Francis was real good last year. Mm -hmm. Now they lost a lot of people. So, you know, it's a competitive league. It's a fun league to be in. Last year, did you think maybe you snuck up on some teams? And uh, is there going to be a little bit of a target on your back this year? Well, you know, we probably snuck up on it at the beginning. But mm -hmm. once the year goes on, right. you see the scores. And, you know, they probably saw the 71-62 score against Toledo St. Francis. So they knew they had to prepare for us offensively that way. So, you know, I, I think it, as the year went on, they were ready for us. But, you know, yeah, I think we surprised some people early. All right, thank you very much, Coach Fell. Several Lima Senior games coming up on the WOSN docket, including the opener against Marin Harding, as well as home games against Pickle and Clay and the matchup with Finley. Need to take a timeout on the Reineke Family Dealership's warm-up. When we come back, Andy Lynch will sit down with some of the Spartan players here on WOSN. Round number two here from Lima Senior. It's the Reineke, Reineke Family Dealerships warm-up. I'm joined by the, the defensive guys. Well, I'll go defense, then offense. Malik Townsend, he goes both ways. He's to my right, left tackle and D lineman. Marquise Miller in the middle, off, uh, linebacker and free safety, and Corey Jackson down at the end, free safety and wide receiver. Malik, you didn't want to say a whole lot, so we'll start with you. <laughs> Going both ways, how's the conditioning? How are you feeling right now? I feel a lot better than I did earlier. I mean, I'm more in shape going both ways is a lot, honestly. Is that, is that kind of, you know, an honor that Coach Fell thinks you, you're the one, you're the guy that can go both ways? Yeah, it's, it's a great honor because I don't know. Just feels good. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> Marquise, how's this defense coming together under Coach Crea? Uh, really good, really good. Um, Crea, he's pushing us hard, you know, and then we got a lot of seniors coming back on the D. Uh, pushing our younger class, uh, underclassmen, um, just working hard every day, getting better. Do you like the fact that you can pretty much focus just on defense? And you don't have to worry about you know some of the guys going two ways. Yeah, uh, I don't have to be as much in conditioning as Malik. <laughs> <laughs> All comes down to Malik yeah. over here, <laughs> going both ways. Do you see conditioning less than a little bit because you guys <clears throat> can't focus just on one side of the ball? Not really. <laughs> Coach Phil has everybody doing the same conditioning. <laughs> so you'll be ready. Yeah. Game time will feel like nothing. You'll be yeah. out there only half the time. Corey, how, how do you feel coming into your senior season here on the defense? I feel pretty confident. Uh, defense has been working a lot harder than we were last year just because how many points we had put up on us. So I feel, you know, this year we're a lot stronger than we were last year at this point already. How did you feel last summer? I mean, you were obviously expectant that uh, maybe things will change. Coach Fell brings in yeah. a new attitude. Then, you know, you got your first win at pick one. It started to, to, to roll together. Yeah. But how does it feel different this year? Uh, I feel like we have a winning attitude from the start. You know, last year was questionable. You know, everyone <laughs> wasn't sure if we were, you know, how great we were going to be. And this year's more winning attitudes everywhere out of everyone. Marquise, how did that confidence build last year? Was there a game? I mean, the pickle um, win was big probably, but then did you just feel it, it continue yeah, to roll? I, the pickle win got us, got a lot, made us get a lot more confident. And then um, I think the Mansfield game was, that's where we got started at. Okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was a tough loss, but yeah. playing a really good team. That, that margin, let's see, I got it right here. 59-42 in week two, and you guys will go to Mansfield Senior week number two. But they yeah. will open up with Marion Harding on WOSN again be able to see week number one. When we return here on the warm-up, we'll be joined by the offensive guys, see how they're doing and how their conditioning is as well. It's the Reineke Family Dealership's preview show here at
finish up our Reineke family dealerships warm up at Lima Senior with three of the playmakers on offense. To my right, Elias Wright, who's played pretty much every position in Spartan football history, I think, <laughs> the last three years. He'll be wide receiver, a little bit quarterback maybe too. Marquise Graham, uh, Coach Fell said he had the best hands on the team. We'll talk to him about that. And then Janiel Lyles, tough to stop down at the end, over 1,500 yards as well. Janiel, let's start with you. Breakout season for Lima Senior, for yourself as well last year. What's a favorite memory looking back? Uh, I think the Finley game. Uh, we haven't beat Finley in a long time. Yeah, it, it's been a minute. Yeah, you know, that was that was a real good game. Certainly has. Yeah. <laughs> and Coach Fells told us from the beginning, Finley's our rival. Finley's yeah. our rival. Finley might not know that. Yeah. Maybe they're starting <laughs> to get that idea that that Lima Senior Finley is a rivalry. Right. How about best hands on the team here? A little bit of pressure <laughs> there, bringing the ball in. How, how do you feel? I feel, I feel great. You know, um, this is being back out here with my fellow brothers. Yeah. This is this is great. You know, come out here working hard every day to get better every day and go out there on Friday night and you know, win games. We talk about brothers, 26 seniors. Yeah. 26. I don't know the last time I'm a senior. had 26 seniors in the program. What's that feel like to have so many upperclassmen here supporting you? Um, it feels great. You know, the uh, to see everybody come back out here and work hard, it, it shows that they're dedicated and they're willing to come out here and make this program better. You know. Elias, a lot's been on your shoulders over the past few years, and now you step out here, your senior season. Can you kind of look back and say, wow, look where we've come, even though you still have more that you want to get done? Yeah, I try not to look back, though. Because <laughs> 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 I've been through some things, but uh, we made big improvements. We made big steps. Now that we're seniors, we got to get what we want done this year. What do you want done? Have we talked about goals and oh, what yeah. exactly? Well, we all want to get bigger and stronger, of course. But in all reality, we want to make the playoffs, try to make a run in there. Yeah, state uh, championship. State, yeah. There we go. Janiel's yeah. hopping on at state championship. I, I say it. How about the skill set of you guys and, and how it fits Coach Fell's offense? Janiel, we'll start with you. Just how comfortable are you in that system? Oh, it's, I mean, it's perfect for us. Yeah. It's like what we needed, like all all these years, for real. Coming from a triple option, <laughs> <laughs> which was that was that was tough. But this is I, I love the system. Elias, well, yeah. feel the same way that it really fits your personnel well. Yeah, Coach Phil let us do what we, you know what I mean? Do, he uses our strengths to our. <laughs> you can start. Let us do what we do, you know what I mean? He gives us the ball, let us do what we You know what I'm talking about. I hear you, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get it out. <laughs> That's okay. Marquise, we'll finish up with you. Uh, just how excited are you for that first Friday night here at Spartan Stadium? Oh, man. I can't even explain it. I'm so excited. Um, I just want to go out there, you know, play against somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Other than our first D, <laughs> that's it. I just want to play. You're sick of seeing them already. We're yeah, only a couple already. Days I, I just want to play. All right. Big scrimmages coming up for the Spartans, but we'll have that first game with Harding on WSN. Opening week, thanks to Reineke Family Dealerships for bringing you the warm-up here at Lima Senior with the Spartans on WSN.